and I think defense and depth, you're putting as many controls between the outside and the inside and your sensitive information and how you get to that. You do have the physical side of defense and depth, like you have your physical access into the building, security controls, uh, two-factor authentication, door access control, we're looking at security cameras, how are people, you know, monitor going in and out and, and touching the more technical controls. We're looking at um, even down to, I think, like UB keys and the hard tokens that you're even plugging into the computer. In the technical side, we have antiviruses, we have firewalls, we have NACs, we have uh, SIMs, we have all types of different controls that we're watching on the technical side. For the administrative, we do have, you know, um, policies against misusing the computers, maybe what you're not supposed to click on, uh, what you are supposed to click on. Uh, there's a lot of training and whatnot that's, you know, we, for instance, our users have to take uh, training every year about email security and whatnot. So that's another control that we're informing our users, instructing them, this is what you're looking for. So a lot of companies think that they have just a firewall and that's just enough. Well, it really isn't because what happens when something makes it through that firewall? Firewalls can be bypassed and firewalls can be um, worked around in some ways. You can get your users to click on things and you have to account for each uh, medium to get to your sensitive information. Of it. So no one control is really enough because where a firewall may lack is where an antivirus may pick up, where an antivirus lacks is where user training may come in to you know, supplement. So there's just a lot of pieces and it really just depends on what you're safeguarding and what your access means are.